Hello darlings, just a short update and like you heard that I had a new piercing done this Wednesday and it was an industrial one and it went well. Kia did a great job and she chose to use two barbers instead of for a whole long one that some people do for an industrial through the healing process because she thinks it's better. But yesterday at work because some fucking idiots put things too much on the shelves and we haven't been able to work with some parts of the variety it fell down on my head bumpers on my head lucky it was just plastic things but what did it do? it hit my new fucking industrial piercing so it's a little bit angry today but I was sending Kia some questions and I also send the pictures when it first was bloody. I didn't take a sharp picture. I can insert it here somewhere too so you can see it but it was pretty bloody. Earlier that day I had ripped something in my, on my neck so when I went on my break I was bloody here but I thought it was that bloody someone else was mentioned because first of all I had a tattoo when, behind my ear that I'd done something like that recently. I said no I don't have any tattoo there and I went across there. Oh, but you're bleeding. Your whole ear is full of blood, so it was crusty, dry, dry blood there. And I was thinking, gosh, that's not good. And because I'm at work, I don't have all the things, and it's not easy to see what you're doing. But I could clean out the most of it before. And uh, when I came home, I take took away the last bit of the blood crusts, so it went better. Uh, now it's not hurting that much. It was a little worse yesterday. It's a little bit sore, but it can be sore still because it's a new piercing and that's a very hard one to heal anyway. But I had done everything that Kia said I should do and it's just a little bit angry still. But I'm not surprised because it took, took that much hit. Because I didn't realize that it actually hit the piercing too because it felt like on my head. So, yeah. I discovered that that bit had bled a lot and it was not that easy to take away all the because I had blood inside my ear, I had blood running through down from my neck and everything so it had bleeding a lot. So it's still a bit, I'm not gonna go close with my hands because they're not perfectly clean right now but it's not that bad anyway. I'm not sure you can see the top but at least I'm not in that much pain and I'm still gonna take care about it anyway and if I see that it's gonna be an infection or something I'm gonna contact Kia anyway but right now she think everything goes well so I was a little worried because it's so typical that that's things should happen when people are thinking and you're gonna reach something that is over your height and it's big stuff you don't expect them how to put even more things above them when you think you have taken the one that is on top and suddenly you realize it's come like an avalanche of bumpers down on your head. That was not fun, but at least it was not in metal. So, but else, don't miss my giveaway. And uh, darklings, I hope you have an awesome weekend. And this is actually also one of the dresses I haven't been wearing for some years now because. It's been too small. I, bo I bought it probably from EMP, Rock Shop, and uh, the Uvary is mine all. This is bought, those ones. But the belt is one I have made by Dog Colors, and I have a do, do it yourself video for that one too. And I think it's starting to get a little cold outside now too, and I'm freezing inside too because they don't have the high temperature inside. But I, start, I still want to be a little more fancy looking because I go with my working gear all, all week and they're too big too. But I don't gonna change size yet. Else, hmm, stay safe, stay weird and be nice to each other. Love you all. Bye.